Welcome. I'm Leo. Today, let's look at prime numbers. And before we get into the video, if you like me, please subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my latest videos. Thanks for all your support. So the first question is, when is a prime number? Hmm? Well, a prime number is a natural whole number, like one, two, three, and so on. So a prime number can be divisible by exact two natural numbers, one and itself. Can I ask you a question? Is one a prime number? Well, one can only be divisible by one. We know that a prime number has to be divisible by exact two natural numbers. So one is not a prime number. So let's cross this out. Dun, dun, dun. Now let's look at a few examples. So is two a prime number? Well, two can only be divisible by one and two. So two is a prime number. Now let's move on to three. Is three a prime number? Well, three can only be divisible by one and three. So three is a prime number. Moving on to four. Is four a prime number? Well, four can be divisible by one and four. But four can also be divisible by two and two. So four is not a prime number because it can be divisible more than two numbers. So let's go ahead and cross the four out. Dun, dun, dun. So you might be wondering, why are prime numbers important? Well, prime numbers are like the building blocks of all numbers. By multiplying different sets of prime numbers together, we can come up with any non-prime number, no matter how big or small. So here I have a few examples. So here I have 12. 12 can come up with 2 times 2 times 3. And now here I have another example. It's 54. So 54, we can come up with 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. So here we are going to have a non-prime number. Then we are going to split it into prime numbers. Here, I have 180. We know that the smallest prime number is 2. So, I have 2 and 90. Since 90 is not a prime number, let's split 90 into 2 and 45. And here, 45 we can split into 3 and 15. And 15 isn't a prime number. So let's split 15 into 3 and 5. We broke 180 into 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. So as you can see, these are all prime factors. So this process is called prime factorization. Lastly, I have a question for you. The question is, how many prime numbers are there in the world? And I'll leave that for you to figure it out. I thought that was fun. How about you? I hope you had a great time learning math with me.